All right, so we've got a question from Candice, and she says, does this technique work if I have a baby and if I need to constantly get up in the middle of the night to feed my baby or stop the baby crying or whatever? Now, I've never had a child, so I can't really say exactly whether that will work or not, and I can't really offer much experience regarding that. But what I can say is that any interruption of your sleep, whether it's a baby, you know, noise outside, an intentional interruption, like you setting an alarm on your phone, or a cat, or you know, whatever it is, any interruption that is random and out of your control, okay, is going to be useful in some way or other to having lucid dreams. And the reason for that is not, it's not because it's waking you up as such, it's because it's interrupting your sleep. Uh, and sometimes it doesn't actually wake you up fully. Like for example, say if you have a baby and the baby starts crying or you know, there's a, some sort of noise associated with the baby that wakes you up partially, but not fully. The chances are that you're gonna either remember more of your dreams that night, that morning I should say, or you're gonna have a lucid dream. And that's because by waking up your consciousness partially and not fully, you're able to sort of get inside your dreams much more easily. So to be honest, I don't know. I don't know whether having a, having a child or you know the interruptions associated with having a child will give you more lucid dreams. What I can say though, is that by interrupting your sleep, you know, whether that's with a baby or with an alarm, you can learn to turn that into a lucid dream, but you've got to actually know how to do it. It's not just a case of, you know, getting some sort of interruption, whether that's a pet or, you know, leaving your window open so that the noise can come into your room. You know, you have to know how to turn that interruption into lucid dreams. And the way you do that is again, by doing reality checks through the day and making sure that every time you hear a strange noise in waking life, you treat that as a prospective trigger. When you hear something strange in waking life, whether that's a car horn noise or like a weird sound effect or music that you hear when you're out and about, the second you hear that noise, do a reality check and make sure you ask yourself if you're dreaming. And then what will happen is subconsciously you'll link noises or you know auditory interruptions of your day, you will link that to, am I dreaming? You know, into the whole the whole critical question of you know are you dreaming, doing a reality check, looking around you, and over time you know whether that's a few days or a few weeks that is going to bleed into how you react to noises that your baby, your cat, you know the dustbin men outside or you know whatever the noise is, the car, the traffic outside, uh, you will be able to turn that interruption into a trigger to do a reality check now. This is obviously a bit of a strange one because at the same time, if your baby's crying, you should probably go and check it out and make sure it's okay. So I can't really comment on whether it's a good a good method or not. All I can say is that as a side effect, you know, as like a symptom of the interruption from the baby, you'll probably have more lucid dreams. Uh, and a lot of, you know, uh, new mothers report that as well on, online, on forums and in person. They, they say that that is the case. Um, pregnancy and, and uh, babies have always been linked to you know, more vivid dreams, even nightmares when you're pregnant. That's an entire a new topic for a video, but there is a link there. Um, but hopefully you can learn to turn that interruption into something that will help you lucid dream. That, so that, that's sort of the element of the question that I thought would apply to everybody. Now the actual specific question was regarding the wake back to bed technique. And she's asked essentially, would the wake back to bed technique work if I had these interruptions in my sleep? and you know having to tend to the baby several times during the night now the answer to that is yes uh, but it, it's a double-edged sword okay so what i mean is the wake back to bed technique for those of you who know about it it's a, a very effective way of inducing a lucid dream by interrupting your sleep in the early hours of the morning and then going back to bed with the intention of lucid dreaming it works right the, the trouble is and the, the reason i don't recommend it the, these days that much is because it interrupts your sleep meaning it makes you sleep worse. It, it, it decreases your sleep quality, makes you feel more tired the next morning. Uh, and ultimately it just decreases your energy and the mental clarity you're gonna have, not only you know during the night, but also during the day, the following day. So the wake back to bed technique is, is bad in that sense anyway. So if you combine and add that to the interruption of a baby, Yes, you're going to have more vivid dreams, maybe even nightmares. You're going to be more lucid more often because of the interruption. It's just a numbers game. You know, the more times you go back to sleep after being woken up, the more chances you have of having any dream, whether it's lucid or not. Uh, the downside is that you will feel awful. As I'm sure most new mothers can attest to, you know, the first few months at least, 
you feel terrible because you're constantly being woken up, interrupted, you know, uh, going back to sleep, waking up again, interrupted by noises, nightmares, thoughts, worries. It's all a, a sort of a big mess. And it obviously does get easier over time. And you know, it's just really the first few months of a newborn are very interrupted in terms of your sleep quality, uh, your sleep duration, and pretty much anything relating to your mental well well-being and, and sleep health is going to suffer. Um, what you can do is if you already know your sleep is going to be interrupted and you already know you're going to be waking up several times during the night, you may as well just do a wake back to bed every time because it's free lucid dreams. You know, you just you may as well use the situation to your advantage. Say if you wake up to feed your baby, right? You, you're going to have to go back to sleep anyway so why not try and do a lucid dream why not combine just turn that into a wake back to bed use the baby's noise and interruption or you know waking up to feed the baby use that as an alarm clock in a way and just have a lucid dream or at least try to because it's going to be very likely that you will thanks for watching guys this video and this channel was supported by my patreon followers please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description you'll find links to various lucid dream products articles techniques and tutorials if you did enjoy this video please click the notification bell and subscribe and i'll see you next time why are you still watching this you should have clicked one of my related videos by now right or subscribed or gone onto my website or something like that